units, level four mobilization. Location, Fisk Tower. Fisk? SWAT is 1084 at Fisk Tower. All units stand by. Warrant is en route. Did you take him down yet? No. We're at Fisk Tower, but still waiting on the warrant. Mind if I join in on the fun? You know how his lawyers are. This one needs to go by the book. Come on, Yuri. I've been waiting eight years for this. You really want to help? Head to Times Square. Sounds like his guys are trying to keep my backup from reaching the scene. You got it. Almost there. Hello? Parker, where are you? We must run through the demonstration at least once before the Grant Committee arrives. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. I'm dealing with a personal issue. I'll be in soon. Promise. Ugh. Better wrap this up quick than get to my real job. Looks like Yuri called in the cavalry. Bring in the hammer. has a lot of guys on his payroll. Spider-Man, what's your status? Almost done here. You? We're about to go in. Be there soon. I can't wait to see Willie's face when you slap the cops on him.
Okay, Yuri. All done. What's happening? Yuri? Yuri! My new fist wouldn't go quietly. More backup. And lock down the airspace. Yuri, you okay? If he makes it out of that building, we're gonna lose him. I'm gonna go, uh... Do your thing. Yes! He's the dick, Willie! Heads up! Hey, where are you going? Catch! I'll clear a path. Follow me. Get out of here, Spider-Man. We got this. Sorry to break it to you, but you do not got this, buddy. Oh, thanks for the confidence boost, guys. Call a hostile workplace. Shut the elevators down! Take the stairs! I prefer a more direct approach. Spider-Man, status. Heading to the upper floors, and hoping nobody turns on the elevators. Our choppers are taking fire. Looks like Fisk has armed men on every floor. He's desperate. And he's hitting us with everything he's got. I have to find him and end this. Not yet. 
We just picked up Chatter. They're wiping all their data servers. We need that evidence if we want to put him away for good. Okay, server room it is. Call from May. Better answer. Uh, hi, oh, May. Next floor up. What is all that noise? Watching a superhero movie. What's up? I just wanted to make sure we're still on for dinner tomorrow night. Totally. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Well, okay. Love you. Love you too. Spider-Man! <laughs> This ends well for you. On to the next one. Regret your life choices yet? There's no evidence left. If I go in this way, they'll destroy all the evidence. I should look for a sneaky way in. There we go. Huh. It's like my own private ventrance. Fisk may be a dirty criminal, but he has remarkably clean air vents. Hurry up. The boss wants everything erased. Can't make it delete any faster. So cute when they're oblivious. Uh, halfway there. Need another minute or two. Think the cops know where we are? Don't worry about out there. Worry about here. Is this tech support? I forgot my password. Spider-Man! Uh, Don't let him near the console! Uh, Hold him back! Warning. Full deletion uh, evidence. Stalin! The system's still purging! And I thought the IT guys at my last job were rude. Everything's gone. Let's see just how good their security is. Ah, oh, you guys forgot the latest kernel patch. Hiding so cowardly here for you. Says the guy frantically erasing his search history. After all these years, you're still just an ignorant child. True, but that's part of my charm, isn't it? Damn you. Get that door down now! Get past him! Destroy everything! Look around you. I did this. What have you ever done that mattered? Well, there was that time I took down a pompous, overstuffed crime lord before breakfast. Without me, the scum I kept in check will run rampant, and it'll be your fault. Long, tough road, Fisk. Almost sad to see it end. Near friend. We'll get ready for the main event.
Yuri, an explosion just... I saw it. This could have the whole place wired. I'm sitting in a bomb unit. I'll make sure no one gets in their way. Kill him! Or the boss will kill us! Or where that came from. You figure out we're not playing yet. I think that's all of them. It's clear. Move up. Hey guys, I guess bombs are part of Willie's getaway plan. Sounds like they're trapped. You go after them. We'll look for the bombs. Ah, help! Somebody! Everyone clear out! Evacuate the building! Ah, help! I heard more people back that way. I'll find them. When you're free, get out fast. If you can walk, help the injured. Got it? Go, go, go! Thank you. We did it. Let's go. Okay, Willie. Coming your way. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. How we doing, Captain? Could be better. Our choppers took a beating. We just had to ground our last one. If Fisk calls in a chopper, we have no one to stop it from landing. And no one to chase him if he flies away. Why do I get the feeling that's what he was planning all along? Because he probably was. Damn. Yuri, get EMTs up here, fast! We're trying. Incoming! Keep him on the ground! That's enough out of you. More rockets? A little excessive, don't you think? Oh, you just made a big mistake. Rocket day or something? Gotcha! Man, how'd the bomb squad guys get through this? Get him! Settle down. I've got enough for everybody. Must be somewhere ahead. Hope they're okay. You guys all right? We were just about to call for backup. I think I'm it. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. Heads up, boss. Out of my head. 
So your plan didn't work. On to plan B, get him kicked in the face. Hey, Yuri. Looks like some of your guys were on Fisk's payroll. Good news is, they were Willie's last line of defense. I'm right outside his office. Take him down. Now. With pleasure. Writing your memoirs? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Get the chopper ready. I won't be long. I'm surprised you made it this far. But your foolishness ends now. Uh, you do know I can still see you, right? Eight years of this insolence. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. Gotta wait for an opening. It's reloading. What's wrong, Willie? You seem angry. I will destroy you! Take your best shot! That gave me an opening. City. Huh. I was gonna say the same to you. You know what to do, man. Surround him. Uh, uh, engage. Uh, we'll take you alive uh, or dead. This doesn't care. Uh, uh, right. You're out of your depth, boy. Not this time. Hang in there. It'll be over soon. 
Kiss now? Yeah, maybe later. <sighs> Finally off to Rikers, huh? You know, I think you've got more enemies in there than I do. If you think this will be more than a minor inconvenience... Whoop! Gotta go! Hey! Good luck, Willy. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Idiot! I'm the one who kept order in this city! One month! In one month you wish you had me back! The Kingpin is heading to prison. End of an era. I feel like I should celebrate. Maybe take a vacation. Almost there. Blocks away. Uh, I guess I'll just do it myself. No, don't. It's not safe. Ugh. Gotta love Doc's enthusiasm, but sometimes it gets him into trouble. Better get there before he hurts himself. Sorry I'm late. Oh. You started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. 
Are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Let's see what's wrong with you. Circuit burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre-check, I would have caught this. Servo control. Nice. Okay, what next? And now rebalance the voltage. Finished. See if that worked. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. Our first volunteer subject. Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. How many lab fires have we seen now, Otto? Three? Four? That's how you know we're progressing. Out of the ashes of failure, great science is born. I don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. Graduation. It feels so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more.
Doc's made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged, usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. You know, just yesterday, we saw an extraordinary reaction cascade in the Olympic Bridge. We're looking for results, not cascades, Doctor. And results you'll have all your That reaction cascade was pretty awesome. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. That's esteemed company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri? Anything. I'm on my way. Huh, looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. I wonder what my number one fan thinks about the Fisk takedown. This is Just a Facts with James Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two times. Two times. Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, plug the book. And, and as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Speak. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fisk, right? I mean, one last mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no. I'm a plumber. Oh, good. Then fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. As soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the streets, but does that quip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. He got on TV. That's what counts. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So until that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! <sighs> Someday, Jonah. I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. Someday. Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Until an hour ago. The system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. I'll figure it out later. Right now we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Let's take a look at this tower. Input bands have been shifted. Subtle. We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great. I've got units nearby. Don't bother. I'm on it. Do it! Watch my back. Pretty sure these guys didn't forget their keys. Okay, wrapped up. Thanks for that. Now I'm seeing an assault near you. You're in luck, Yuri. Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled seen too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any- Spider cop. Please, no. So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off! Leave me alone! Keep me quiet, lady. Don't touch me! Help Get away from her! Oh, crap! Spider-Man! Oh, no. We gotta keep him on the ground or we're dead! Ugh! <sighs> 
walk away now, or she's dead! Let me go! All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. Haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, spider guy. It's spider man. Oh well. Should be able to spot the next tower from up there. From his elevated position, Spider Cop spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No! Of course not! The Chief never did understand Spider Cop. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. But I can modify these towers to track more than just crimes. Score. Towers are picking up all kinds of RFID signals now, including one nearby. What is that? Oh, wow. One of my old backpacks from high school. Forgot I attached tracking dots to these. I wonder how many of these are scattered around the city. Still there? Got a robbery a few blocks away. Spider cops on it. Part man, part spider, all cop. Ugh. Fellas, ah! Spider Man, shoot him. Legit job? You wouldn't need to be criminals. All right, Yuri. I'm gonna repair the last Chinatown tower now. Don't you mean Spider Cop's gonna repair it? Been doing a little thinking, Yuri. Policing's a young man's game. And Spider Cop, well, he's no spring chicken. Please be going where I think you're going. As of today, Spider Cop is officially retired. Oh, thank God. I need a drink. We'll all drink tonight, Yuri. Drink to the memory of Spider Cop's tireless... Yuri? Yuri, you there? Uh, guess the emotion of the moment overwhelmed her. Uh, 
Not good. Can't have people taking pictures of my three chest hairs. Tools I need for suit repair at the lab. Wonder if Dr. Octavius is left for the day. Doctor, how did it go with the committee? I'm so sorry I screwed things up. Not at all, Peter. They're just nervous in the face of imminent triumph. They'll calm down. They always do. Should I head back to the lab for cleanup? No, no. I'm stepping out for dinner anyhow. We'll resume tomorrow. Short break, then back to creating the future. I wish I could bottle and sell that man's optimism. Sounds like he's left the lab for the day. Good time to work on my suit in private. Looks like Doc's gone for the night. Time to sneak in some spider work. We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. It was a debacle, yes, but it may also prove to be the inspiration I need. We can no longer simply meet the committee's expectations. We must exceed them. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? Wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. Parker, Dr. Octavius, I, uh, what you got there? Chinese. If I know you'd be here, I would have... What are you working on? Oh, just a side project. <sighs> of course. It's you. I, uh, I, I don't know what oh, you're... Oh, come on, Parker, it's obvious. L -l let me explain. I only wish you'd told me sooner. I wanted to. I was afraid that if word got out, my family might be in danger. Huh. Yes. Uh, I guess if you design his equipment, you're bound to be a target too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. Well, I'll leave you to it.
check your email. Hope this isn't how Doc fires me. Peter, the revelation of your second job as Spider-Man suit crafter, is that the right term? <clears throat> is a reminder of the good man and partner you are. No matter how hard you work, you still find time to help others. I hope you don't mind, but I noticed the suit was a bit damaged, and I took the liberty of sketching up some of my own improvements. Attached are a few ideas I had on how you could enhance his suit and help protect Spider-Man, who does so much for this city. Looking forward to the incredible work that we are doing and changing the world together. Your partner and friend, Otto. White Spider, huh? Hmm. That should do it. Spider-Man, I think I figured out how Fisk's men are keeping his rackets running. Construction sites. Wasn't that shut down when he was arrested? No, it's one of his legitimate businesses. Multiple investors. We can't act without cause. But now you've got that, right? That's why I'm hoping you can keep an eye on the locations. Tell me if you see anything suspicious. You got it. I'll be your nosy neighborhood Spider-Man. 10-10, need an officer to respond to a reported drug deal. Officers near Bowery, please respond. Yuri, I'm at a Fisk construction site, and there's a lot of guys here who aren't exactly constructing. What are they doing? I want to go find out. Huh, just got a text from Doc. Looks like he attached an idea for a Spidey gadget. Man, does he ever stop inventing? See that coming? Something ain't right. Better call the fellas. 
I'm in an ass kicking uh. mood. Don't do this. Uh. It's Spider Man. Uh. Okay. Uh. We were ready for this. what I can do to cut down the supply. Shoot him down already! You're gonna have a bad day! Get out of the way! This is for the boss! Looks like they called their buddies. Oh, hey, more guys. Welcome to the party. House rules. Leave your shoes at the door. Unless you're not wearing socks, in which case, buy some socks already. You want to move that baby? Place is locked down, Captain. Actually, webbed down. And someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers inbound. Good work. Fisk has more construction sites throughout the city, betting their fronts too. Keep an eye out, and report in if you see anything suspicious. If 
If I'm gonna find all of Fisk's construction sites, I should recalibrate my mapping software to be more accurate. Using a depth map post process on photos of popular landmarks should do it. And I know just the one to start with. fitting tomorrow goes well. We should be okay. That's fantastic, Doc. We're back on track. Provisionally. As long as our little incident escaped the mayor's attention. You'll be at the fitting tomorrow? Definitely. It'll go great. We're gonna change the world, Doc. I'll settle for not starting any more fires. See you tomorrow, Peter. Here's to a successful day. Good old Empire State. Man, I love this town. Time to grab a snapshot. That'll do it. Map should be recalibrated now. I haven't done much photography since quitting the Bugle. Forgot how much I enjoy it. Should keep an eye out for more landmarks to shoot. Huh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Uh, just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party, whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. Now, where did I put my bag? Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen, getting ready for the party. What about my dog? No problem. But always on a leash, and never in the kitchen area. Of course. Man, this is great. You guys are great. Thank Hey, Pete. Good to see you. You too. Oh, Peter. I just started a mystery novel you might like. Thanks. I'll check in with you later. Witnesses reported even more That cute social worker was here again today. You want to meet her? You let me know. He kept Uncle Ben's clothes a long time. It's like he was still looking out for her. Petey, thanks for the tip. I got the job. That's great. Congrats. Hey, Peter. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How's it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked for dementia, Pete. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. And your dreams, crazy lady. Want a game, Pete? We play for peanuts. No, 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 no. Too rich for my blood. I'll leave you to it. I've gotta get out of here before my kids find out. Yo, Pete. That hand of yours is a saint. You're telling me. 
Hey, Peter. <laughs> What's up? Just dropping in. I could really use a muffin. A blueberry muffin. Six months sober. Never thought I'd make it. Doesn't pay much, but a gig's a gig. Rather live on the street than ask my parents for help. Hi, Peter. So, I got the job. May's recommendation really helped. People know that when she says something, she means it. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. Miss you. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while yet. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. And this one, I have never had a problem. There's always someone looking out for us. We don't have to make it a thing. We can just be casual. Yeah, that's fine. But I still want a ring. Peter, you're so thin. Are you eating? Every chance I get. Peter, thank you again for helping me with the social security website. Glad to. If I had powers, I wouldn't fight crime, I'll tell you that. I'd be a TV star. Uh, I'd be a pro wrestler. <laughs> Best gimmick ever. Sleep. That's when they get you. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. 
What is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. Peter, right? Your aunt's been showing off baby pictures. Gloria, I'm new here. Spider-Man turned me on to this place. Oh, right. I mean, great. Uh, how do you like it? They're good people. I might stick around for a little while. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. So, any big celebration planned? Serving food to people, applying for grants, arranging job training. That's my idea of a party. It means a lot to May how much you trust her. She's earned it. I couldn't have expanded these centers without her running this one so well. This marks a big win for police and the first major takedown for Fitz, hoping to end his long-term reign over the city. And as of this morning, Voicemail from Yuri. Hey, silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale? Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets. Officers respond. We've got a 1010 narcotics in progress. Officers near Gramercy, please report. I lost track of you at the party. Yeah, I, uh, had to get to the lab. Sorry. Don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you too. Find a back way in. I 
am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file, or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. They always look so cozy whipped up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. Where's Finn? Someone else is here! I swear! She must have the file! If they're here, where are they? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Move it, Pete. Bad guys are getting ready to be bad. Yo, Kyla! Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I am covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here, no moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind, we're good. Let's get started.
Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions, being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be at least. Bedfisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. <laughs> Dude had no self-awareness. <sighs> Fisk cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. Hmm, Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Kyoto, so beautiful. Uh, part of me wishes I could drop everything and travel the world. But life and work are here. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Brought hidden crimes to light. <laughs> we got an old school investigative journalist over here. I like her. What did Fisk call this? Vanessa? Always hated this cane. So tacky. would love this. <laughs> I gotta admit, I miss May. And how much am I bid for this collection of villainy and deceit, starting at 10,000 broken lives and dreams, 10,000 going once? Heard from the underworld, huh? Super tempted to ring this guy. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kakemon Baku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now, this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. 
The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. That shouldn't be here. Hello? Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a... He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. A statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Hmm. He's holding something. Maybe these pieces move.
devil's breath. What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You... you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in, in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus. Focus. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Okay, Pete. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Please, don't hurt me. There we go. Okay, room is clear. Gotta stay silent. That's all of them. No! Let me go! MJ! Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostage taking guys! Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list.
Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You, you will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That, I, I don't. What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? <sighs> Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. As uh, soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't you just get paroled? Yeah, well, guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Units, we've got reports of muggings in the area. Available officers report to the theater district. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grand committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? 
please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack.
Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Looks like May's not in yet. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Possible narcotic sale reported. Nearest unit, please respond. Officers needed in Koreatown. Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. <sighs> That's right. How did I lose track of time?
Someone was reported near the meatpacking district. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry, ask him to talk to his dad. No, Norman never listens to Harry. Even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. 
between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. These clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. Got it. Oh! It feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Light on that one. Perfect. Is that? Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away? Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. 
Yeah. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid? You just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, oops, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Okay, catch this one with your face! You come clean, I can help you! You really wanna help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen! anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. No. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Oh, come on, Herman. You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. On yourself. Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, 
Have you had any more reports on demon, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Hey, so I looked in the reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demons' hands. Snipers everywhere. Might need to deal with them first. A lot of junk scattered around here. A well-placed web shot could make a great distraction. That sniper has a guard watching him. They need to divide and conquer. They keep talking about gear. What does Fisk store here? Keep this place secure. Hello, this place. Ship has a couple of years. Really <laughs> Whole shipyards like a mine. Booby traps from every decade. Although, feel like making yourself useful and holding that banner. Can't. Got to stay alert. What if the demons show up trying to break into the vault? If we seal the tunnel below us, it'll be that much harder for the demons to do just that. Sounds like...
You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. We'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, not Spider-Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box powering the door? Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. Gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Nah. Must not be the right box. Keep looking. Thanks. No way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. I got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Aha. Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Found a scrape. Oh. I guess normal doors don't count, huh? Dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see, anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Second floor. Rusted machine parts. Big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <laughs> nice! Stuck the landing and everything! We're not all donut eaters! <laughs> Fair enough! Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it! You were after Fisk for a long time, huh? He's my great white whale! <laughs> Found one! Nailed it! Hey, 
Check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. Place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. Sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. There. They blew the locks to get in. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Trucks full of gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the webs. Stragglers at the yard. I've held up. 
better. These guys are all over the road. They'll kill someone if I can't stop them. Doing my best to catch up, but you might be on your own. Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Here's your stuff. to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the Bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you, and they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Come on. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's room 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage, Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else. But I have to find my Spidey Drive. 
be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck? I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. Of course it's locked. Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great. I'm headed there now. Hey, it's a long shot. But sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shop. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No. Started with an L, I think. Larry's? That's on the east side. Uh, Leo's. Leo's, yeah. That might be it. Man, I love Leo's. I'll pick you up a pie. I owe you one. No worries. Hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, Eddie. Should be some trucks close by. Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <coughs> what an interesting smell. Eddie, my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh, looks like trouble. Okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. There's something there. Gotta move these bags out of I think that's it. Please be here. Yes! Hope it still works. Phew, looks like everything's here. Hey, look. An old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? Uh, I think I can make this work. Got it. Look, it's that guy who thinks he's Spider-Man. Uh-oh. Ice him! What is that? I can evade it!
Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. All right, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Let's see. Uh, hi, MJ, it's Peter. Any chance I could stay over to... Oh, that's too formal. MJ! I was just in the neighborhood and... Oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ, now that we're talking again, I thought maybe... Okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Check it out. Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh. Looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Hmm, someone left me a voicemail. Number's blocked, though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Leslie, come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. She's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? She wants me to find something. Need to look harder. There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out. Hey, Yuri. You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were going to meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter. I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. in a narcotic fail. Mobilize on Dutchtown. <sighs> Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. Kid, what are you doing here at this hour? Just dropping in. You 
guys play this late? I was a long haul trucker before I lost my lease. Nights when it's quiet. Easy to think. Not easy enough where you're playing. My late husband snored. I was always up. Well, it's nice you got company. Better than nothing. Barely. Have a good night, you two. Just ask for some nose strips. You snore like a water buffalo. Doesn't surprise me you'd know what a snoring water buffalo sounds like. Lord, I thank you for this food and this place. Pete, what's up? Late night, huh? All too often. What are you doing here so late? Oh, I, uh, had a little mix-up at my apartment. On the street, huh? I know the look. You're in the right place. Nothing to be ashamed of. I know, I just... I hate to take resources from people who need them. Guess what, pal? Right now, you need them. You got a point. Thanks, Gloria. Pete, what time is it? Late, sorry. Peter? I don't think May's here. No, she, uh, forgot something. Gotta pee. Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Are you sure you can spare that money? Easily. Working here leaves very little time to spend money, and I'm just fine with that. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. So humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Confucius Plaza. I could use some of his wisdom right about now. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. I really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. Hey, J. 
Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on a fist construction site in Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Consolidated shipping. <sighs> Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. What you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. <laughs> Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go.
You two stay here. Wait for the police. Sleep it off. on the outside to look for Fist Man. Their attention gotta find the survivors fast. Big guy. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. I've missed these cryptic fit.
that just happen? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Please, let me got this. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. Live to regret this. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? Place Fisk? Fisk is all the time. I'm kidding! One engine down. Afraid I have to ask you to pull over the helicopter, sir! Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete, you got this. You got this, you got this, you got this! Please don't screw this up. are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh, I saw this! Cool, thanks! Do they have a website? Yes! Whoops! Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All oh, right. Tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. entrance and we'll be right out front 
Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens. I think this gang war may finally be over. With that, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but. Loose ends. Well. A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. For acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. I'm kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? to watch you suffer. Crazy. 
Need to get around somehow. Right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? I was right there. Gotta help him. Now. I got you, Dad. to leave. No! 
Wake up, Dad. Wake up. Wake up. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry, it's, it's a part of God's plan. I'm sorry, I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up, and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe him. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Hey, we're running another piece on Jefferson Davis, and it made me wonder, how's his son Miles doing? Not good. I've been there. The loss is all you can think about. He needs something to do outside of school. Maybe a part-time job? It's not a bad idea, but it has to be the right job. Something that makes him feel useful, like what he's doing matters. Kind of think you just described Feast. MJ, that's perfect. Call talk to May about it. That's what I'm here for. Reports of mass terrorists arming a bomb. Location is in the vicinity of Devil's Shelf. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. 
Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. That did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. from Fisk's armory. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. And lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job.
consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. Sleep it off. Not out here. Better check inside. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune up. What else can I find around here? have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. but it was definitely not this. Damn it! I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find Lee? No, but I found something we should look into. 
place called Pale Horse Rides. Location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down. Now. Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this. Who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to Mae for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple crossed, Doc. MJ, hey. Any luck on finding info about Sable International? Let me see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions. Or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger-happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media's blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No, this is Norman Osborn feeling threatened.
Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe in Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. Lee's office is the other way. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Huh. 
Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Yes! Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. This is all about Norman Osborn. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. This article is decades old. It must be back when Oscorp was first founded. Lee was keeping tabs on Wilson Fisk, too, trying to predict when he'd fall. Creepy. MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. 
Peter was there, he was very lucky. At an Osborne rally? I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! Ah! Ah! Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool, see ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by, just for a minute. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it.
Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Uh, add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. 
You know, the micro cables we use to simulate musculature could easily be arranged into simple shapes. Wrenches, hammers, a toolbox literally at your fingertips. Don't know if I'm comfortable with some of these funding sources. All science is built on risk. Better to embrace it than run from it. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Advanced idea mechanics? Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. <laughs> Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then, it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth, to finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny that my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds.
Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborn cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer well, still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Boss wants to talk to you. Get in here. Yeah. We we need to get into that office. Refinances the boss. What are they building? Is this all for that? Careful. Hey, I heard something. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Yeah, don't be a paranoid. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run?
Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. <gasps> won't notice? Cause it won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. <laughs> and now I need a new welder. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? What, like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just which is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Nice to see you, dude. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. 
Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp, single, known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. All units, 1043, mass terrorists have seized a civilian bus. Incident is ongoing near Union Square. Please copy. Police look like they could use some help. Lady Knight. For the assist, Spider-Man. Someone radio dispatch. We need a wagon. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I could've sworn I parked on this level. Work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement.
Good fight. A for effort. The elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. I may find it. We'll wait to shoot some. If I can. Steve, you're my winty. Dan T. Mayo, eat up. Okay, almost there. Stay out of the light. and easy. Tall building. With firebombs? Seriously? Uh oh! Not good. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out.
Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah. But I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius' lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. This is Sable Control. Request. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project. Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada, yada, yada. So. Uh, will you please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. All 
units. We have a vehicle collision. Officer assistance needed on scene. Officers needed at the yards. Please copy. Spider-Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is, can you stop the bombs I planted? The mystery man's got recon points spread all over the city. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. Guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Good thing I already have a costume. Mr. Call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve. And he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Halloween party. Guess I don't have to change. Delaney's dressed as one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. Why you guys gotta be so nasty? I'm just trying to do my job. How if we have terrorists running loose in Manhattan? How does that happen? We need a change. We really do. Jimmy? You didn't hear? He joined some kind of whacked out cult. Satanists or something. I kid you not. I always thought Jameson was crazy, but God help me. He's starting to make sense. Jameson's got the right idea. If the bad guys have guns, give them the power. Everyone's in costume. My people. Now there's a guy who puts in the effort. Dr. Delaney is here somewhere. I have to find him before Lee does. My job offer in Delaware came through. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, look at us! The Spider Bros! I'm trying to get beat up the Check out my moves! <laughs> Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Oh, oh Spider Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time! <coughs> oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? This is the end for you, Spider-Man. Which one is the real man? None I have you. Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Smart ass. Throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. <laughs> I'm looking for Isaac Delaney. I think he's on the dance floor. There he is! The lizard in the lab coat. Hey, look, it's Spider-Boy! 
and some one of your nemesises? We gotta uh, fight. Maybe later. Oh, uh, what's the matter, Spider Whip? You afraid of my mighty horn? Hey, who? What, what are you? Come on. Hey, uh, fight! Uh, Kick fight. his ass, Spider Man! <laughs> What the hell? Oh, snap! Oh my god. Is that the real spider here? I'm totally right in the right now. Get him, Spidey! Yeah. Ooh. What do you want? Just tell me what you want. This is a joke, right? Those aren't real guns. Back now. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> Keep your head down. Everybody okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. How about some mood lighting? And where'd they take Delaney? recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over.
Thank you. No! That's all of them. Gotta find Lee. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at DSU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city, but they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no. What happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? That's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module.
There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. We have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Stable teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert level. Okay, just two more modules. Attention all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. There it is. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy control. Bird inbound. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. There's the last one. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait, is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman, but it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B&E right now. You pompous son of a bitch! You're lying! Ah, oh, don't be too mad, Norman. We know you and Fisk built a secret Devil's Breath lab, but we still don't know where it is and what Michaels has to do with it. Let's hope your computer can tell us more. Jackpot! GR27? Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Creepy. Whoa. GR-27 is Devil's Breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath.
MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound? That could go bad fast. I should head to Central Park. Huh. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. I need to get off the internet for a while. Attention all units. Assault reported in progress. Officers needed in Central Park. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Out of the way. What was that? Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Need to drop. What the? What's that? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. <clears throat> Standish is secure, ma'am. Lockout comms as well. I do not want leaks to press about Michael's or Devil's Breath. On it. She's nervous. Standish must know something about Dr. Michaels. Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word, we'll get Michaels moved to the new safe house. They're moving him. Have to find out where before we lose our shot. Could really use a coffee. Get that truck moving. Should have been uptown half an hour ago. Got me. We're rolling. Go, go, go. <sighs> Made it. Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation, ma'am. 
Add two more units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for Pandemic. Understood, ma'am. I don't care how many men Sable has. She won't be able to stop Martin Lee. Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. I should grab another photo. Perfect. Gotta move. There's Standish's tent. Come on, come on. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Oh, what that the was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was...
was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Miles' is mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Rio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. What's the situation in Koreatown? Demons are fucking here. I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and, uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag.
I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? It provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. <sighs> Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Hmm. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. 
notice the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. The device will need two parts to function. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of micro cables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius, is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend, soon we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Doc's really doubling down on defense contracts. Hopefully the neural prosthetic will work, so he doesn't have to sell his soul to keep the lights on. Thank you again, Peter. Don't know what I'd do without you. I only wish you'd told me sooner, Doc. I didn't want to burden you. And if I'm honest, telling you made my condition that much more real. I was afraid. My condition is worsening, but I choose to view it as a challenge. Extra incentive to push forward. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye! What are you doing here? Oh, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager?
You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros, okay? Okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time, but when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's... It's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock, okay? I can take it. Oh, sh S Sorry. No, 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 <laughs> it's all good. You keep that up and uh, you'll be fine. All right, lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh, thanks. You know, anytime. I just punched Spider Man. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would've bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Farmer's market. I can cut through there. Keep moving, keep moving. I can't believe you're saying it's the right side to a terrorist attack. Well, when you say it like that, how would you say it? Tourism is dead. Yeah, we do. That's right in. Uh-oh. Everyone have their IDs out and ready for inspection. You gotta be kidding me. It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Okay. Okay, time to move. the gate on the left or over the scaffolding to the right. The scaffolding will work. Oh, more drones? Gotta blind them. Oh, those things have mounted guns? I can't let them spot me. Mom? Hi, honey. Did you make it to the thief's shelter okay? Uh, yeah. Almost there. Miles. 
you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. But this is mine. Okay, sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey, I love you so much. We'll get through this, okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. I'll be back soon, Mr. Hunter. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <laughs> oh, hell. Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when what, what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got time. Get it going. Or, could be a loose coax cable. <laughs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty pants. Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh, brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? That would be extremely helpful. Thank you. Peter, be careful out there. Miles told me the Sable patrols are being very strict. Hey, is it okay if I get here late on Thursdays? That's when the robotics club meets. Absolutely. Your education comes first. May told me about your parents and Uncle Ben. Sorry I snapped at you at the funeral. All good, Miles. Hey, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. Pete, don't mouth off to those Sable guys. They're not playing. I'll be careful.
So how's it going with your daughter, Eileen? Slow. I made mistakes raising her. Hard to get past. If you're talking, there's hope. Don't give up. Now that's a wise man right there. Hey, Pete. Your aunt's really stepped up. Yeah, she's the best. Your aunt's a saint, Pete. Bonafide saint. Hey, Yuri. I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. Ah, uh, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. breath gets loose in the city what's our worst case scenario ah uh, you know global pandemic end of the world that kind of thing why did i even ask this is the bowery but where's dr michael Dr. Michaels, is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry, we're the best in the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Code 381, package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? Hostiles! Secure the package! Get him on the Welcome aboard, Doctor. Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do. Pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. More units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank, whatever. Spider-Man is getting clear. You are interfering in this operation. So 
sorry, but we're not on board with Operation Missiles in Manhattan. I need to clear the guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. Yeah. and he will destroy all sinners! Sorry! Lee, hand it over! honest, I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture, in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! <sighs> one way or the other, you will join me. Uh oh. All the souls you've lost! The innocent victims you couldn't save. Martin, their blood is on your hands! You can stop Osborne. You have so much strength. I can give you will. Their bodies filled the gutter, and you did nothing! It's everyone! What's one life? A simple trait. One life for a city of souls. You defend Osborne while he sits in his ivory tower? This isn't real. Show me your true strength. You can come back to the light! <laughs> 
You okay? Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. Where is the serum? I'm gone. The Discoya! So-called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. Do you really need two of those? <laughs> Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an Arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But Lee's actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city from our mistakes. Yuri, I've been meaning to ask. How does Sable's team feel about our special relationship? <laughs> oh, they love it. That bad, huh? Let's just say if they ever found out how much info I feed you, a cell in Rikers would be the least of my problems. I don't want to put you at risk. If it's easier to cut off communication... Hell with that. The city needs us working together now more than ever. Screw Sable. It's business as usual. That's why you're the best, Yuri. Nothing shakes you. Damn right. Damn, Devil's Breath is gone. I should call MJ and Warner. Jane Watson, please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What are you up to now, MJ? Standish said the demons are looking for something at GCT. But what could they possibly need here? Should probably call Peter and let him know what I'm doing. Actually, scratch that. He'd probably just tell me to go home and chain myself to my laptop. 
I'll just check things out quick and let him know what I find. I heard Spider-Man's got some kind of, like, danger sense. So why didn't he know? What's he supposed to Look at all those Oscorp displays. Hmm. Looks like an Oscorp tech expo. From paper cuts to gunshot wounds, Oscorp's patented nanotechnology can increase the body's healing rate by 1,000 times. We're not just saving you money. We're saving lives. Oscorp Cerberus Cypher, the world's only mathematically proven unbreakable encryption algorithm. Oscorp's revolutionary medical evacuation probe, or MED, offers immediate emergency assistance, even in the most hostile areas of the world. right now. How much do you think they cost? Just a few years ago, optical camouflage was the stuff of science fiction films. But with Oscorp's patented magnetic resonance arrays, cloaking fields are very much a reality. Try it for yourself and see how Oscorp is making your world better each and every day. Incredible. Oscorp's revolutionary bioenhancer, Focus, strengthens your body's own nervous system, allowing you to stay awake and active for over 72 hours without any side effects. At Oscorp, we are giving you the greatest gift of all, time. Nice. This Gaia microbe dispersal device releases specially formulated microbes into the atmosphere and in turn leaves our oceans and rivers cleaner than when man first walked the earth. Mr. Lee. This will be easier for everyone if you remain calm and do as I say. Police! Over here! Office. I would like to speak to Mayor Osborne. Who's calling? The man he is looking for. What do you want? I want you at Grand Central Terminal in 30 minutes. By yourself. Or there'll be more blood on your hands.
MJ, I'm on my way. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Just hurry. Going as fast as I can. What are you doing at GCT? I'll explain later. Listen, Lee's going to release the Devil's Breath. You've got to get out of there. He's not going to do it until Norman Osborn gets here. Wait, this must have been Lee's plan all along. Make Norman responsible by forcing him to release the Devil's Breath himself. Sort of makes sense, in a twisted, psychotic way. Okay, I'm here. Coming into the terminal now. Anything I should be on the lookout for? Where the hell is Spider-Man? Everyone, just calm down. Looks like he's got some drones patrolling. Guess he's prepared for you. Don't worry, I'm in the ventilation system. Can you see a safe exit point? Southwest corner. On my way. If I get any closer, the drones will spot me. See that tablet I'm looking at? That controls the drones. Think you can snag it? Yes, if you can distract them and not get shot. I'm ready. Tell me when. I'm ready. Incoming. Sama? Say Ganda! Okay, move. Ah, they're not gonna take me without a fight. Wait! MJ, what are you doing? Let's all just relax. Listen, I'm a reporter. I have a direct line to Mayor Osborne. I can help make sure he arrives on time. How? First, let him go. They're coming. Jump over the railing. Good job. Now let's get you out of here. What about the Devil's Breath? I'll come back for it. No. We're partners, remember? Can we argue later? If we don't help those people, they could die. So could you. I can't let that happen. No. No, I got myself into this. I'm getting myself out. What do you mean you got yourself into this? I don't like this. There's too many of them. Then let's start taking them out. Quietly. Did it. Grab him. Do it. See if you can break up that group. I'm gonna try and separate them. Trust each other, Peter. 
What do you mean? I trust you. Yeah, when I'm sitting at home behind a laptop. Oh, come on. Can we please get back to saving the city here? Negajitsa,在哪里?他就在这附近,我们很快就可以抓到他。Gotta I'll take care of the devil's breath. You know what you're doing? No. That's never stopped me before. Yeah. Okay, what do you see? I see four wires. Two blue ones, one yellow and one red. Look for the source of the wires. They should be color-coded according to function. Oh, okay. Looks like the blue is connected to the battery. And yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Want to detach the wires from the battery first. Trace the wires to the other end and unplug them from there. Okay, unplug the wires from the battery. Okay, pull the first wire. Now the second one. What? The timer just changed to 30 seconds. Ah, it's a collapsing circuit. What comes next? The fan? Yes, then the last wire. But you have to hurry. <laughs> Okay, now the red one. Got it. You did it. Wow. Yeah. Now let's get these people out of here. I could use a little Spidey help. You ready? Right. I'll clear a path. Try to do it quietly. Will do. Gotta be careful or the hostages will get hurt. Woman Why is Lee so hellbent on terrorizing New York? Oh, 
单位，检查通讯。谁去干二号？巨人状况。收到，马上后续。Just need to take out a few more. Then it'll be safe for you to move. Hurry. Oh, no, sure. Sleep it off. Okay, MJ, time to go. Copy that. Everyone, follow me! You're the man, Zida. Now, shut up, Zizi Shah. Try to get your shot off. MJ, did you make it out? Yeah, everyone's safe. Good job. Hey, Peter. Yeah? When you're done in there, we should talk. Yeah, we should. But first, find me and kick his ass. I feel bad for anyone who's on the wrong side of MJ. I wonder what side I'm on right now. Okay guys, trivia time! Did you know Grand Central has the largest basement in New York City? Crazy, right? You could fit half the Brooklyn Bridge down there. Ha! Ah, I agree. They sure don't make them like they used to. That's old school New York gumption for you. Anyway, I could talk trivia all day, but I gotta stop your wingnut of a boss from destroying the city. Time to wrap this up. Hold up. His escape plan is to use the train. Can't let him get away. The train platform is open. That must be where Lee is. Train's moving. Lee's getting away. Finally. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing. Are you doing this? Paying off an old debt. Better keep my distance for now. Guards down. You're sick. Let me help you, Martin. I don't want to hurt 
fuck you! Nothing can hurt me! Not anymore! No brakes? No problem. That totally worked last time. Yuri, they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Streets closed for another month. Why? <laughs> Next stop, prison. Get that cargo back to the lab. Let's move! Jane Watson, please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, hey, it's me. Let me know when you want to talk. Texting isn't talking? No, 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 not that kind of over! Please say no, please say no. Huh. Okay, okay. And not okay. What is there to figure out? Oh, you think? You did it. Lee's off to the raft. The Devil's Breath is safe with Sable. How do you feel? How do I feel? How much time do you have? Not much. Heroics for you means paperwork for me. But I just wanted to say, good job. Thanks, Yuri. I kind of needed that. All this time with Lee, I've been ignoring the city. Time to get back to being a friendly neighborhood Spidey. Okay, I think things are sort of under control. Maybe I should put in some Peter Parker time at the lab. Hello? Parker! <laughs> Just in time to celebrate. Celebrate? W wait. 
Where are the arms? Oh, wow. So cool. But how did you... Intracranial neural network. Neurotransmission speeds under one nanosecond. Faster than signals travel inside the brain. Never mind to an external prosthesis. We did it, Peter. No one can take this away from us. Amazing. And your work on the neural web was the key. But we haven't even tested it yet. There's so much we don't know. It works beautifully. Uh, come on, take a look. This is impressive. Hmm, little error though. Voltage spike. Should be an easy fix. See if that worked. No, this is worse than I thought. Hope that stabilized it. Damn it, the spike is cascading. I don't know if I can fix this. Bad. Doctor? Doctor, I've found a potential problem. Everything has problems if you look hard enough. But fortune favors the bull. It's time to show the world what we've done. Otto, the neural web isn't isolating your motor neurons. It could be affecting other parts of your brain, your, your inhibitions, your mood. I, I just think we need some more tests. We've had enough tests! For the first time in my life, I don't feel like a failure. I feel like me. Otto, you're not a failure. But this could permanently damage your mind. Please. Right. Close. I'll keep at it. I'll work out some bugs. Go. Go. You sure you're okay? Yes. Thank you, Peter. For... 
for everything. We now take you live to Grand Central Terminal, where Mayor Osborne is about to address the media. Martin Lee is now behind bars. When I make a promise to this city, I keep it. The people of New York will soon make a decision that could change the course of this city forever. So when you're casting your vote, remember what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. LIAR! You have no idea what you're in for. I should check on Miles. Hey, Pete. Hi, Miles. I just wanted to see how you're doing with the news about Lee. Look, if you didn't want to work there anymore, May and I would understand. I did want to quit when I heard. Then I remember what my dad used to say. A hero's just a guy who doesn't give up. That's true, assuming he's doing the right thing. I got you that job. I'd hate for you to keep doing it if you think it's wrong. Oh, the people here... Nothing Martin Lee did is their fault. They need help and I'm helping them. I think Dad would want me to stay. I think he'd be proud. I know he would. And Miles, I'm proud of you too. Anytime you want to talk, just call. Thanks, Pete. I gotta go. May just gave me a list of all the supplies again. Alright, later. Congratulations, Captain. You got the City Hall bomber. We got him. Tomato, tomato. My point is, you've been burning the candle at both ends lately. You should take a vacation. I'm not exactly the tourist type. But once we've rounded up the rest of Lee's people, maybe I will. No planes, no suitcases, just uninterrupted sleep. Oh, you are a party animal. But hey, whatever floats your cruise ship. Or doesn't. You've earned it. Peter! Y you okay? <sighs> I'm getting by. I don't know how I feel about you running this place all by yourself. And these people need help. If I lose a few hours of sleep, so be it. So have you heard from Mr. Lee since? <sighs> no. But the Martin I know couldn't have done that. Whatever's become of him, that's not the one I want to remember. So... How are things with MJ? Oh, it's, uh... Well, you know, she's, uh... It's, uh... It's, it's complicated. Honesty. That's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. You guys had rough patches? Oh, sure. Especially when we were your age. So... Are you honest with her? Does she know the real you? Hey! Turn it up! I want to hear this! A spokesperson for the police has confirmed that this was the truck carrying the device used in the Grand Central Terminal attack. Oh, it never ends. Peter? Captain Watanabe, leave a message. Yuri, where are you? Call me when you get this. I just hope the Devil's Breath is still there, and still secure. If the demons got to that truck, this just went from bad to catastrophic. Missed a call from Doc. Hope he's okay. Peter, I just wanted to... Mark the moment, I suppose. The closing of one chapter in life and the beginning of the next. 
I couldn't have reached this point without you. And it's my hope that the next phase will only strengthen our partnership and friendship as the world finally sees our work bear fruit. Here's to the future. Huh. He sounds less paranoid than before. Downright hopeful. I hope that means good things are coming. We could all use that. have an armed bomb. The devil's breath is gone, but we got even bigger problems. Rikers? We have to hurry. Hop on. What happened? It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. What about the raft? Should be okay. It's a supermax facility. Better security and a separate power grid. Good. What about the Devil's Breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? Uh-oh. Should've worn your seatbelt. I'm on it. Spider-Man! Attention all CEOs. Institute lockdown procedure. Timber Rush! Let's take them! All inmates return to your cells. Repeat, return to your cells. This is your last warning. I think you guys need a little more plan in your escape plan. Damn it. They got into the armory. Is that bad? That sounds bad. It means some of the inmates are armed with rocket launchers. Yeah, that's bad. I'm on it. You guys go back to your cells and behave. We can forget this ever happened.
can always get worse. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Ah! Uh! Ah! Yuri! Uh! I'm slipping! Gotcha! Hold on! Uh! Huh? You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! Just in time for the fire! Looks like we made parole, boys! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cell and lock the door behind you, okay? Please? I'm gonna cut you, fighter! with every criminal I've put away in the last six <laughs> This is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. Get 
Spider-Man, I thought this was a chase! Gotta stop this guy. You can't stop me! But I'm glad I didn't still try! If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Ah! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. to do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! lies. It 
It's over, Norman. Time to give them the truth. You okay? Fine. Can you, uh, can you pass us out for me? Sure. They are working around the clock on a cure for this deadly disease. The citywide quarantine is being heavily enforced by Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raft escapees. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence. And many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame, since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated Oscorp laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Oscorp Turn is not an NDC on an anti-serum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim. Dr. Octavius, why? How did I let this happen? Just got a call from the hospital. They said you went AWOL. I need to get back to work. The doctor said you still have 14 broken bones. Which means I have 192 non-broken ones. Thanks for taking care of me, by the way. The hard part was keeping you hidden from Sables. They branded you a priority target, you know. I humbly accept the honor. What is happening to our city, Yuri? I don't know. Feels like the end of the world. Maybe it is. I'm here to help. Good. There's gangs of escaped prisoners banding together and taking over entire city blocks. Looting, strong-arming local residents, you name it. I'll take care of them. What else you got? The mayor told Silver Sable to do whatever it takes to find Lee and Octavius. So she's just rounding people up indiscriminately, holding them captive in bases around the city. I've even heard rumors of enhanced interrogation tactics. You mean torture? <sighs> Don't worry. I'm on it. This is our city, Yuri. It's time we take it back. Great. My men are tracking the supervillains. I'll update you when we make progress. For now, do your best to stabilize the city. Peter, I've been trying to reach you all day. Are you okay? The prison break turned the city upside down overnight. I'm fine, May. Staying safe. I'm more worried about you. Oh no, don't you do that. Feast is the safest place in the city right now. Our sister locations uptown, not so much. But we're safe and secure down here. Let's hope it stays that way. I'll stop by when I can, May. Love you. You too, Peter. Spider-Man, the Raft MVPs are back on the grid, laying siege to our police precincts. My men need your help, now. Get to a vantage point in Midtown and I'll explain. On my way, is it Octavius? No, two of his flunkies, still searching for the doctor. I have to be honest, that one scares me. Might be the smartest supervillain I've ever encountered. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Hold tight, Captain. OK, 
Okay, Captain, got eyes on. Fill me in. Rhino's assaulting the Upper West Precinct. Electro's at the Upper East. We need you to turn the tide. Head to either. They're both equally screwed. Peter, are you available? We need help at Feast Sisters' side of town. The Veteran Center in Harlem? What's wrong? Men from Rikers are demanding food and supplies. The staff are barricaded inside, but they need help. Miles and I are headed there to evacuate the staff. Don't do anything until I get there, May. I'll meet you in Harlem. May sounds exhausted. I really hope she isn't sick. You need to help Yuri, then get to Harlem. Yuri, I'm nearing the Upper East Precinct. Good. Electro and the demons are boxing my men in. The setup is complicated. You'll understand when you get there. Yuri Watanabe, master of suspense. This isn't good. Transformers are charging the building, trapping the police inside. Yuri, complicated was an understatement. I'm gonna have to disable these Transformers to free your men. Even if you manage that, they'll still need your help with the demons. That's why I'm here, ready to serve all your electricity and demon-related needs. I did not miss dealing with Electro's elaborate supervillain antics while he was in the raft. Trapping the police with a network of energy transformers? Who does that? Need to lend a hand.
Yuri, your men are safe. What's next? Get to the Upper West Side. We're trying to shelter civilians, but Rhino isn't making it easy. He never does. On my way. Attention. Police vehicle is... Miles left a voicemail. Pete! Hey, Pete. Hey, May wanted me to call you. Things in the veteran center are not good. Convicts are trying to break down the doors. Mary Jane's here, but we're getting people out of the basement. We need more help. I hope you can get here soon. I need to finish with the precincts fast and get to Harlem. Attention unit. Snipers have officers pinned down. Any officers near firehouse, please copy. Former guests of Rikers are laying into your police barricades. I'm gonna even the odds. Do it. If those barricades fall, the people inside are done for. Thanks, Spider-Man! Never seen Rhino walk away from a fight like this. We must be working on orders from Dr. Octavius, making quick hit and runs on the city's emergency response teams. Nice, Spidey! Get to the other barricade! They need you! to give these guys jetpacks. Guys, we're on the same team. At least wait to attack me till after we take out the convicts. Pass. Anyone else feeling very 1984 right now? Oh, just me? Come on, anybody? Sable's airborne commandos. Now to mop up the rest of the Rikers escapees. Yuri, precinct is secure. And I just found out what it means to be Sable's priority target. Not fun. That'll teach you to piss off international mercenaries. Guess so. Okay, I need to sign off for a bit. Call me if things go south. Will do. And thanks. You've given us a fighting chance. Okay. Need to hustle to Feast's sister site in Harlem and help May. Peter, thank God. We need you at the Veterans Center. Where are you? I got held up. Are you okay? What's happening? The convict started a fire. We got the building.
getting stuff out, but May and Miles are trapped inside. I'm trying to find a way into them, but the fire's spreading so fast. Stay where you are, MJ. I'll handle this. Damn it. Move it, Pete. Move! Stay back! I don't want to have to rescue you too. Peter, don't be crazy! Wait for help! May! May! Here! We're over here! I got you. Hang on! Hey, May, you alright? Get to the window! It's too far! Hold on! Just brace yourselves! Come on, you stupid piece of... Come on, May! I've got you! Oh my god. Go! Go! Uh. Miles! Come on! No! Is May okay? Everyone is safe. MJ, if it weren't for you and Miles, I would have been... As dead as I would have been the last eight and a half thousand times you saved me. Pretty sure I still owe you a few. <laughs> uh, uh, that's smart. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry I screwed things up. It's just... Hard being the one who always gets saved, you know? Sometimes I want to do the saving. I'm sorry I made you feel like you couldn't. Still partners? Always. Huh? Hey, uh, so I didn't know if, uh, you wanted sparkling or, or flat or spring or mountain spring. So I got one of each. Am I interrupting? No. Um, MJ, Ms. Watson, and I were just talking strategy. Strategy? That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. All of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Divide and conquer. Ms. Watson, we need an anti-serum for Devil's Breath. Oscorp's developing something, but there's no way they can keep it safe from Octavius and Lee. We need to find the cure and protect it. I'll chase down some leads. Miles, you need to be my eyes and ears at feast. Anything goes wrong, call me. We need to keep that place and the people there safe. All right, you got it. What are you gonna do? Gang of costume nut jobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. Hey, wait, um, how do I call you? I mean, do you, do you have like a cell phone in your, in your po pockets or something? Ms. Watson can give you my number. Good luck, team. You have his number. Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? 
That'd be so cool. If... <sighs> Come on, Sherlock. Show me what you got in this water smorgasbord. The city feels a little more under control. Miles is watching Feast, MJ is tracking a devil's breath cure. Time for me to focus on finding Otto and stopping whatever he has planned. Yuri, we need to start tracking the big boys. Still no leads on Octavius? No, nothing. Forensics can't even do a sweep of Times Square. Everyone in that department but the intern is sick. I might be able to turn something up, let you know what I find. Spider-Man, here to lend a hand? Thought you might need one, officer. You don't know the half of it. Never seen anything like this devil's breath stuff. Forensics is having a hell of a time. News reports say this is where Otto released devil's breath. Might have left some residue I can track. Some residue on this sign. Maybe I can isolate it. AT rich leader sequence. This looks promising. Oscorp's modified CPF-1. Definitely Devil's Breath. Should be able to track the dispersal path now. The trail goes in a few directions. Need to find the right one. Vapor Trail heads up that building. Trail jumps between these buildings. Trail leads down into those vents. What was Otto doing up here? Should be a door or an access hatch around here. Well, this is moody. Must be some way to hit the lights. There be light. Whoa. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? The chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at feast. Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. Oh, Martin. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards true justice. Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. How long have they known each other? Otto's rage is driving him. The neural interface is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Norman. I feel like I 
I can't turn around without seeing his face. He smiles for the cameras, collects his accolades, and keeps his boot heel pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish he is? How reckless? How evil? If only they could be made to see the Norman I know. The man behind the mask. Looks like Otto's been studying Sable's tech for weaknesses. Good old Rhino, my second favorite Russian. Otto developed a corrosive to free Rhino from his suit. A certain government agency spent years trying and failing to do that. Only took Otto a few days. Alexei, I've followed your career with great interest. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals, and freedom shall be yours. Mac Gargan, a.k.a. Scorpion, a.k.a. Crazy Pants McCrazy. Scorpion's helping Otto in exchange for a clean slate. Criminal record expunged? Gambling debts erased? It's rare for me to admit this, Mr. Gargan. Clearing your debts was more difficult than I anticipated. You're in arrears to some demanding individuals. But, once the reservoir job is finished, your financial obligations will be finished as well. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. Old man Vulture. I've tangled with him more than anyone else here. Power source for Vulture's wings gave him spinal cancer, and Otto's developing an experimental treatment to save him. Adrian, what bitter irony that your miraculous wings should have brought such horrors on your body. Thankfully, you are now working for me. When our work is settled, the treatment I've developed will cure you. You won't shuffle off this mortal coil just yet, my friend. Electro. Total live wire, that one. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. Doc actually managed to modify his harness to get a little closer to that goal. first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you insane. Pure energy. <laughs> but as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure energy. Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. What's this now? Otto must have used this map to plan, but it's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. UV bulb. Huh, nothing happened. Must be a way to get that lamp on. There we go. Hidden markings. Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. 
Lee's going after the Devil's Breath anti-serum, using something called Icarus? Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp-owned property. Rhino's targeting Oscorp shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Icarus, this is it. Hello, Spider-Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? For a man like Octavius. Backup plans for his backup plans. MJ, hey! Oh, Pete, are you okay? What's happening? <laughs> Traffic's rough. Listen, Lee's gunning for the anti-serum. We need to find Oscorp's Devil's Breath Lab before he does. On it right now. I'm pulling every building permit in the city. If there's a record of the lab, I'll find it. That's great! Okay, uh, uh, talk soon, MJ! Trap failed? Softened him up. Time for plan B. Electro, you really grew in prison, didn't you? Me, you're up. No, Adrian, it's me, Spider Man. What are you babbling about? Nobody ever gets my jokes. Our long feud ends tonight, insect. Oh, phew. Thought we had a healthy give and take. Man, have I misread this relationship. Yeah, we got this. I 
again, hate to be the pessimist, but I don't think you guys are assessing this situation accurately. Nothing more than luck! Should check on Sparky. You might have got the old man, but I'm gonna get you. Confidence, I like it. I'm reasonable, I'm justified, but still confident. Good on you. Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborn for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. when they team up. Just need to catch my breath. What time? Oh, man. Give me to update, Yuri. Yuri, Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. City's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. I should check on Miles. Hey, Pete, you okay? That's what I was gonna ask you. I'm fine, but you and May are in the middle of it. We're busy, but people need help. And I'd rather be doing something than waiting around for somebody else to fix things, you know? Yeah, I heard that. Just make sure you protect yourself. Mask and gloves. And rest every now and then. Well, that goes double for May. Nobody can make that woman take a break when she doesn't want to. But I'll do my best. Thanks, Miles. Give May my love. And be safe. There's the reservoir, but no sign of Scorpion. Better take a closer look. Prisoners driving around opening fire. Well, if I was a mercenary dressed like a scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. <laughs> Damn it! What did he inject me with?
Whoa! What the... Is that... a sea of poison? Can't be! This can't be real. Must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground, and analyze whatever he injected me with. Should be safe for a minute. Need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. Scorpions made some upgrades. Hallucinogenic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. Alba should be inside the greenhouse. There it is. Uh, 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 uh. Don't worry. Uh, it, it can be both. Is she duck? It's just the hallucinations intensifying. You can get through this. Doc, you sound... Like I did before the neural interface affected my mind? My obsessions were always there, but the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, uh, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times your unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss one with you. I really will. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. It makes one wonder where your priorities lie. I mean, if I was really that important to you, why would you let me destroy myself? I can there's the eclipse all the time. time. But I need an antitoxin to mix a permanent antidote. One of Harry's research stations was developing a synthetic atrophy. Gotta get there fast. Scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, brain. Uh, raw panty crawling up your spine. Scorpions? How'd you get this number? Always asking the least interesting questions. <laughs> it's not how am I calling you. It's am I calling you. Maybe I'm just the fevered screams of your dying brain. Real or no, when I cure this poison... I'm coming for you, Mac! <laughs> Big talk from the little bug. Have fun chasing pink elephants. I don't even want to know what Freud would make of those. Oh, there's the research station. We need that atropine. Atropine's right there. <laughs> 
You're too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, but it is me. The me polite society. The parts of myself I suppressed. But you helped me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. Poison isn't in. You are the poison! Everyone you touch suffers! Stop running from me! Let me try! I want nothing from you! You're a failure at life, love, career. You bring nothing but pain! No, stop! I'm not giving up on you! Please, just talk to me. I can help you. So you can treat me like all the rest. Containing me, suffocating me. No, I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes, stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. I am your friend, Otto. Please. I've always supported you. I always will. Supported me by selling my ideas to Norman, by sabotaging my greatest works. Don't think I didn't see. Don't think I didn't know. Please, Doc. Please. I had such high hopes for you, Peter. Such lofty ambitions. You could have been a great scientist. But you lacked will. Always scattered. Always late. I tried, Doc. I wanted to be there, but... But, but, but... What? Excuses. Endless excuses. I didn't hire a research assistant. I hired a lazy leech. A boy playing at being a man. No, that's not true. No! If you had been there for the Grant Committee, or for the pre-check, or for our endless fittings, if you had ever been there, Maybe I wouldn't have had to take action. Please, Doc. There's still time to turn back. Still time to heal. And do what? Crawl back to that pitiful lab? Toss tennis balls with my incompetent assistant? No! Now it is my time for greatness. You'll not hold me back again. Stay away, Parker! I won't be sabotaged by you again. There it is. The atropine. Just need to mix up the antidote. Looks like I'm headed back to the lab. Here we go. And nearly cured. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, Lance, don't worry. <laughs> Plenty of surprises left for you. We'll be seeing each other again real soon. Count on it. I need to mix the antidote. Finally, the real lab. No more hallucinations. I think not. You're in my domain now. You're just like Osborne, trying to steal my genius. Everything that happens now is your fault. I knew you were laughing at me! Thought I forgot about you. Scorpion, are you even real? Hold still, I'll show you. Ha! That gave me an opening. Another 
hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. Not gonna be that easy. Sure it is. Now I know you're the poison trying to distract me. Bring it on! One down! You're a loser! All you'll ever be is a loser! Let him get to you. on the job. Stand up. There's the centrifuge I need. Finally. I'm running out of time. I can feel it. I think I did it. Where'd my suit go? I think I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. So many good memories of working here. All tainted now. wasn't just reinforcing the arms. He was turning them into weapons. Parker. Always listening, aren't you? Always observing, memorizing, stealing. Who have you told about the neural interface, hmm? About my work? Well, it stops here, Parker. I trusted you. But instead of recognizing my genius, what did you do? Tried to tear it down! Accused it of flaws. There are no flaws! It's a thing of beauty. A perfect extension of the mind itself into the world. Thought given form by these incredible arms. And I have only one thought on my mind now. Norman's reputation lying in tatters before me. Time to give it shape. Parker says the interface is dangerous, but the boy's a neophyte. Never truly created anything. Thinks we can stay on the sidelines, avoiding the mud. Men died to found this nation. They died to get us to the moon. Every great push forward demands blood. And this next push, this push to rid ourselves of Norman's stink. It may yet be the bloodiest of them all. Not gonna let that happen, Doc. He was planning this right under my nose. Was it just an idea in his head until the interface pushed him over the edge? How long was he using the device before I realized? The neural interface is exacerbating Doc's rage. He may not be able to come back from this.
Ooh, head's still foggy. Need to work the last of this poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol. MJ, hey, you mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew is still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Splash. Need to distract him. Hacking app should work. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Freaking intense. He's got issues. Got a few seconds. He Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Which is the way he came through here? This guy's like an animal. Both of them are. Gauz? On our side. Iodine? But no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. You two, get over here. All right, all right, already. Right. Up right now. Just give us the location and schedules for your supply like it's I don't have that information. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. Leave me. Leave me. I hate watching Benson Whale on. Turns my stomach. how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Come on. Another supply Keep tent. digging through it. Crossing fingers. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. 
Looks like they're gonna divvy up. Gotta avoid that sniper. Oh, relax. Everybody gets a date. I heard that. Dude, please don't embarrass me. Supplies. Cops aren't stupid enough to come around here. Oh, come on, crate, be the one. <gasps> Moxicillin. Perfect. That is a very large man. I found the exploding bulldozer. Supply roots and sketches. Now! Yes, Kazal! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is. inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <gasps> Did not need to see that. the opening. I 
Just to let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha. <laughs> Kids right. got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. You want a taste? I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired but hang it in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Polk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Ah! Rhino, what's with the team up? Thought you were a loner. Ah, means an egg. All of my things <laughs> means an egg. for these particular means. Freedom. True freedom. No more suit. No more rhino. Okay, rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Garkin, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Now, you know, I won't tell anybody. 
and leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! Come here, Naruch! I will teach you to throw a real punch! My jaws already absorbed that particular lesson. Ah. Thanks! Didn't I hear you took a poetry class in the raft? Like a therapy thing? Now, nah. here is waiting. Along came Spider. I sat ah. out beside him. That's so good! Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me, the lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. Have people been waiting down here long? No, no. Only one or two hours. We all greatly appreciate Sable International's generous assistance with security. Has the penthouse been affected? Oh, my, no. The new security room in the back of the lobby ensures that the mayor remains totally undisturbed. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire floor. It's because Sable took over building security. Routine sweep, they're calling it. Checking for weapons or explosives or something. All this just to make Osborne feel safer. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. He is a cockroach. An arrogant cockroach in a starched suit. Don't let his Gestapo hear you. They'll lock you up. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. Mayor Osborne really lives here? I never see him. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. Pretty sure he's up there right now. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. 
Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Get out here right now. We're just as important as Osborne. This isn't fair. Let us back upstairs. If Osborne doesn't have to wait down here, we shouldn't either. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. That should do it. Oh, crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Let us upstairs before we all catch the disease. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this one of the Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. We're in charge. Okay, okay. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Continuing sweep. What was that? Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire it. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. The fabulous Osborne boys. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? 
MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? The city's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> What a hero. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> Uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's room. But it's locked. 
I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room.
I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. scientist thing going on. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <laughs> Kind of makes sense, though. Michaels is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection. Frequented by Dr. Michaels. Commercial buildings. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michaels' path. Wow. So many records facilities. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. 
Tenthen Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenthen Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. I'll check his last note. Need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. 
Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. Time to KO those snipers. demons quick before Lee gets a hold of the anti-serum. Stationed here. They're not handling anything. You have been warned, superhero. Sable made good on her threat, but these guys aren't looking to team up. I'm tired of you harassing our agents, Spider-Man. This ends tonight. You guys think I took out your men? You've got to be kidding me. Get inside. Demons in 
Sable are down. Time to follow Lee inside. Why are you so heavy? You harass my men, destroy my equipment, and cost my client millions. Give me one good reason I should not kill you right now. Listen, I don't like you, you don't like me. But Lee has your client inside this building right now, and he's gonna kill him if we don't do something. We could fight each other, or we could fight Lee, but not both. I mean we're good? You will help me secure Norman. After that, I make no promises. Works for me. Lee's out of control. Oh. You secure Osborne. I will talk to them. Oh. Oh. Friend. Okay, Lee. No more running. This ends tonight. I have to find a way to reach the Martin Lee I know. The man who built Feast. No way to go but down. to make my parents proud, to honor their legacy. But to truly honor them, Osborne must see justice. I won't let you do this, Martin. sample. your parents back. Why do you insist on trying to save this piece of scum? I'm trying to save you, Martin. Don't let revenge win. Fight it! Must 
be punished. His cancer has infected this city for too long. Osborne deserves true justice. He won't see it unless you stop now. I'll never stop. will be on your head! This is a big deal. be over soon. I sure hope so. Come <laughs> on. 
But this is the wrong way, Mark. Look on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? not worry about him right now. He needs a hospital. No. No hospital. Feast. I need to speak to your head doctor. Oh, there's no doctors here. Well, who's running this place? Me, mostly. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while, but I'll do my best. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, right. whatever you have to sterile. Sick. You can thank me by not dying. Oh my god. They say she could go at any moment. Where are you going? I need to find Otto. He has the anti-serum. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Go get him, Tiger.
right. No. No, that's not it. Maybe it's this one. No. Uh, uh. MJ's right. I built the neural interface. That means I can destroy it. There must be something at the lab I can use. Spider-Man. Hello. Man, I gotta change this number. I must leave New York. Recent events. Give me pause. Your rescue of Osborne, despite his hatred, it affected me. I must return home. Reflect on this life I choose. Dang. I think I'm actually gonna miss you and your death troopers. Unfortunately, my agents will stay. Though I question our work, they do not. And Osborne continues to pay. I am sorry. So close to being good news. Indeed. I will miss you and your bizarre witticism, Spider-Man. Until we meet again. What a strange, violent lady. Did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. Me to beg? Not gonna happen. <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. No! Oh! Tell them what you did. I never. Oh! Everything you have is built on lies. Lies! Ah! You stole my company, my ideas. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. Give 
the anti serum. Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Please. You're fighting the wrong man. But have it your way. We don't have much time! Please! I'll turn over the anti serum when Osborne pays for his crimes! <laughs> You've already done enough to ruin Osborne! Ah! No! Enough playing! Gotta move. Disappointment. Parker. You knew? I tried to warn you, Peter. But you didn't listen! You knew? I won't let you win. <laughs> This means too much to me! Not more than it means to me! Peter, then I guess you'll have to save yourself! <laughs> Ah! 
You look tired, Parker. Not tired. Just hurt. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more! I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn? Turn? I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh. I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? Still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes.
You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben would be too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist, a good one. In the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't gonna be ready for about a week, so I'm gonna be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know... You can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, no, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. Uh, I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. <sighs> hey, 
Hey, so Pete. Yeah. I uh kind of gotta talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like physically. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, you know, you're at that age where where your your body starts to change, and so you may be noticing some areas. No, for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you, I show no, you. No, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son. You're back. How's your mom? Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So, you gonna take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Sounds like a big job, but we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. <laughs> you, you said it! You even did the voice! Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me. You made it weird. Let's go, we've got work to do. I can't wait. Spider Cop surveys the city, placid, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? 